Well, the cabin's all set up. Um, <laughs> this is pretty, uh, pretty unusual for me. Normally I'm used to being like off in the woods, you know, no people around. Uh, we got houses up on the hillside here. It's a different feeling. It kind of feels like being in a, a fishbowl <laughs> a little bit. And don't worry, Ellie is coming. Rye's gonna drop her off a little later in the day and she's definitely gonna spend the night out here with us. My buddy Phil is gonna be our fishing guide today. Uh, I did a video with him last year in his ice house. It was really, really awesome. Hey, hey. All right. Phil and I have known each other since, what, elementary school? It's like almost 20 years now. Yeah, it's insane. So what are we looking for today? We're gonna try and catch walleye tonight, but right now we're just gonna pop some holes and try to maybe catch some crappie or some perch, okay. some smaller fish. The walleye don't really show up until like five o'clock or when it starts getting dark. So we're gonna be out here a while. Beautiful. Yeah, that's a good amount of ice. Yeah, there's still nine and a half inches of ice here. Sweet. Really good. A little black bean and tomato soup. Let's see how it is. God for this food, help us to catch some fish, amen. Mmm. It's good. Nice. It's very good. We've got some black beans, a little bit of corn. I think there's even some carrots in there. Nice uh, southwestern flavor. down. Uh, you have one. You got a fish. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got one. <laughs> well, I got one instantaneously, you guys. Nah. It's not a bad little crappie. Yeah. That guy. So you guys, this right here is called a tip up. And what it is, is it's a line that you put down and if you get a bite, this flag will pop up. In the winter time when you're ice fishing, you're allowed to have two lines down per person. So that allows you to have, you know, a pull in your hand and you can also have one of these tip ups set up and it just helps you uh, potentially get more fish. All right, we're gonna drop back down. Still got my bait too. Got one. All right. Yeah. There we go. Number nice little crappie. Yeah, number two of the day. Yeah, a little small. He's gonna go. He's gonna go swimming. For sure. Very nice though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, another one. Little guy. Wow, yeah, that guy is small. Look at this, look at his eyes. The colors are crazy. Yeah, they are. They have like purple and a lot of different colors. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> oh, that's a nicer one. All right. That's a nicer one. It's not bad. Nice. So we each have two. All right. Nice. Another little guy. That's probably the smallest one of the day so far. <laughs> it is, but man. Yeah. We're getting them. He's gonna swim. So that's our fifth crappie. Not bad. Not bad at all. Got one. Nice. Oh. Smallest one yet. Oh, wow. 
So that's a tiny one. <laughs> but I put that line down and he bit basically instantaneously and I see more down there. So we're gonna, we're gonna go back. Got another. Another? Yeah. I, it feels real small. Oh my God. <laughs> another little guy. Still fun to catch fish. So as you can see, this guy's got a four wheeler out here. You know, even though we've had this warmer weather, the, the ice is definitely strong enough for it. The bike cabin weighs just like a absolute fraction of that thing. Nice. That one feel nicer? Yeah, we'll see. A little bit. Yeah. This guy definitely made me chase him around for a while, but he finally took the bait and uh, yeah, it's a nice looking crappie. There's her eye up there. <laughs> I can tell she's still looking at us. <laughs> Here she comes. <laughs> Good to see you, girl. So Ellie is here, and now we're getting into walleye time. We're gonna move closer to shore, back towards where the cabin is, and see if we can catch something a little bit bigger. The little things. Oh yeah, that make a difference. Fire makes all the difference. Even if it is the size of a chalice. <laughs> This might be the smallest fish of the day. <laughs> wow. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Got him? Got him. Another little guy. <laughs> Come on. Wow. Those are the smallest crappie I've ever Holy seen. Holy cow. This thing is so small. Unbelievable. But hey, we've caught like 15 fish today. Having fun. That's all that matters.
can get him on this small pole. Oh man. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna let him fight. my personal record walleye. I caught that on a panfish. Oh my gosh. What? Oh that, gosh. That's a walleye? Yes. Look at the teeth. Wow. 26 inches. Jeez. Wow. There she goes. What a tank. That was amazing. Yeah, that thing's massive. I Man, can't. yeah, what a day. <laughs> <laughs> that was... <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Solid day. And just so you guys know, Phil has a channel called Paradise Outdoors. I'll link it below. So if you want to watch more fishing stuff or hunting or anything else, check it out. Absolutely. Well, thanks for having me out. Uh, enjoy the night on the ice. Will do. And uh, we'll do this again. We'll catch some more fish. Sounds good. Maybe not some that big, but... No, uh, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> All right, have a good night. Peace. That was a lot of fun. I've been trying to get more and more just into fishing and, you know, having experiences like that, seeing fish that massive come up out of the hole or out of the water. Is, it just makes me that more stoked to, uh, to keep doing it. Hell... Ready to get warm? I know I am. Let's get this stove fired up. telling you guys days like today are just like so much fun because not only were we out enjoying nature but being able to fish just makes it like so much more fun in fact i found this game on my phone uh recently called fishing clash i mentioned it actually in last week's video because we use it as a sound machine for olivia uh, when we travel because like the sounds of it are just like perfect for lulling her to sleep and she loves it I'm not a video game player, but it's a really fun way to unwind at the end of the day and enjoy a real-life hobby anywhere He's a fighter All right So I caught a lionfish here and a fun fact is that I've actually gone scuba diving and speared lionfish in real life. They're an invasive species, so you're encouraged to take as many of them as you can. They're really good eating, but you have to be careful because those spines that they have are extremely venomous. So you gotta be careful when you're fishing for them as well as when you're cleaning them to eat. All right, let's see if we can catch something else. Oh man, oh man. All right, we got a hogfish. So there are a bunch of different features of this game that I think are really cool. Number one, there's tons of different fish species and you actually get to learn a little bit about those fish. Second, there's a bunch of different locations where you can fish all over the globe. And then of course there are equipment upgrades where you can upgrade your setup and that's pretty cool as well. Now, I personally use this to relax, but if you are the competitive type, there are daily events and other ways that you can compete with other anglers all over the world. You can download the game and support this channel by using my link in the description box or scan the QR code you see on the screen and use my special gift code, Tiny Cabin, to get a special $20 value reward, including a unique avatar, for free. All right, guys, so it is time for dinner. I'm going to be whipping up some pasta, but we're going to start off by sauteing some of these onions with some garlic. Now that the onions and garlic are all uh, sauteed, we're just gonna boil our water and get our noodles cooking. Our pot. 
pasta sauce. I'm gonna add our veggies. Dear God, thank you for an awesome day of fishing and uh, for this food. Keep us safe tonight out on the ice. Amen. Some nice pasta, and this is well earned. Today was actually a, a pretty uh, fun but long day. There are a couple owls going nuts out there. Yeah, believe it or not, those are owls. <laughs> I've heard them before at the A-frame. Believe it or not, it's already time for bed. We were fishing till like eight o'clock, so I had a really late dinner and uh, I'm beat. <sighs> All right, see you bright and early in the morning. Good night. Good girl. What a sweet dog. Well, it's about 6 a.m. Got some solid sleep out here. But uh, I think it's about coffee time. Don't go too far. Be careful. Come on in! Oh, Are you ready for breakfast? Thing's gonna be roaring in no time. Feels so good in here. Wood stoves cranking. We got some hot coffee sitting on the middle of a lake. Doesn't get much better. stunning this is you guys isn't this amazing just goes alongside this lake as well as this beautiful hillside it's always a good feeling 
being out and about at first light like this. And what a unique experience to be able to camp out on the lake and then come hike a trail alongside it. thing to be towed by a bike but I'm able to move it by hand no problem. All right guys that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this was such a great experience. So unique and so much fun. Being able to camp out on the ice, fish all day. I had an absolute blast and I can't wait to do more of that. Uh, this summer for sure. I want to thank Fishing Clash for sponsoring this video. Uh, make sure to check that out if you're interested. And uh, I want to thank all of our patrons who donate to this channel. It means the world to us and we're so grateful for that. Uh, but with that, uh, it's time for me to get this thing home. We'll see you next week.